Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, algebraic expressions. And for this lesson, we, we are going to look at removing brackets. If you have brackets that are appearing in an algebraic expression, how do you remove them? So that is what this lesson is going to cover. And hopefully you learn something in the process. So we have a few questions just to help us illustrate that and basically just to guide us all through how that can be done. And at the end of the lesson, we have some assignment there just to help you practice on the same and just to also help you gauge on your understanding of the concept as discussed through, through this lesson. So if I, we have our first example here just to help us illustrate. So what you can see displayed on the screen, so these are the ones we call brackets. So what's supposed to happen is if you have brackets like these ones here, we have expressions that are covered within brackets. Then you look at the number that is outside the bracket. So this number that is outside the bracket is supposed to multiply both terms inside the bracket. Like 3 will multiply A, at the same time it also multiply B. The same happens to 2 will multiply A, it will also multiply B. But now when as minus sign appears for the bracket, the sign inside the bracket will have to change. After you have opened the bracket, the sign will change to positive. So you must make sure that is done. So here we have 3 multiplied by A to give us 3A. Addition. 3 multiplied by b to give us 3b. And then here we have minus 2 multiplied by a is 2a. Now because the minus sign is in front here of the bracket, the sign inside the bracket will change to plus. And 2 by b is b is uh, 2b. So we have uh, 3a and 2a, we combine them. So you collect them together. They are like terms. They are containing the same letters, which are also raised to the same power. So 3a minus 2a, and then we have 3b plus 2b. So 3a, when you are subtracting terms, like these ones here, the like terms, remember we said only like terms can be added or subtracted. So if you are subtracting like terms like these ones here, then you simply subtract the coefficients. So that means 3 minus 2 is 1. So it's supposed to be 1a, but usually if the coefficient is a, you don't write that coefficient. Again, coefficients are these numbers that are written before letters, you see. So 3 minus 2 is 1. So it's supposed to be 1a, but I'll just write a. 3 plus 2 is 5. So I have 5b. So this simplifies to a plus 5b. So a and 5b are two terms that are unlike, so you cannot subtract and add them. So that is the furthest we can go with that expression. So again, we have this second example here which now you look at this there is no number here the, before remember we said the number outside the bracket is supposed to multiply all the numbers inside the bracket so you can't see a number here so if you can't see any number there then usually the interpretation is that it is one again if it is one you remove it you know so you start with five and then minus because there is a minus sign here all the minuses inside the bracket will change to plus the signs inside, inside the bracket is supposed to change so one by, 1 by 6 is 6, so this is 6a, and then minus will change to plus here, then 1 by 3 is just 3b, again the minus there will change to plus, and again 1 by 8 is 8. So again you collect the like terms, like 5 and 8, so we have 5 plus 8, you know, the signs are written on the left-hand side of the number. So as 8 moves to this other side, it moves with the plus sign. We're just collecting the like terms together. And then, of course, now we start with uh, minus 6a. And then we have plus 3b. So 5 plus 8 here is 13. Minus 6a plus 3b. And that is the farthest you can go because now we have three terms that are unlike. All of them are unlike 13. The variable, you can't see a letter there. 6 has A. 3, the, the 3 there has B. So 3B, third term has 3B, second term, 6A, and the first term, 13. So they are all different. So you can't simplify that further. So it, it, it remains to be that. You know. So that, that is the farthest we'll go with it. So we have another one here. Again, this you will start by opening up the brackets. You know, just 
rule of board mass. If the bracket is there, you start with the bracket. So we have a over 3, which is a third of a. So 3 here multiplies all the numbers inside the term, all the terms inside the bracket. All the terms. So first term is here, second term, third term inside the bracket. So 3 will multiply all of them. That is the rule. If you have a, 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 a multiplier outside the bracket, then it has to multiply all the terms inside the bracket. So you have then 15 a, I'll put it over 1 because this one is, remember any number can be written as an improper fraction with the denominator of 1. So I'm just putting it over 1. Then of course plus 3b over 1 again minus 3c over 1. So you realize here the signs inside the bracket, inside the bracket they haven't changed. They have not changed here. So the signs inside the bracket, they only change when you open the bracket when there is a minus sign before the bracket. So this is positive. So the signs will remain the way they are. Of course, now here I'll use the LCM of all the denominators. So LCM of 3 and 1 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 by A is 1A. So you just write A. Uh, one, uh, 3 divided by 1 is 3. 3 by 15 is 45. Again, 3 divided by 1 is 3 looks like 33 so it's supposed to be 3b so 3 divided by 1 is 3 and 3 by 3 is 9b yeah again 3 3 divided by 1 is 3 3 by 3 is 9c then you collect the like terms in the in the numerator so we have a plus 45a that is going to be 46 46a then plus 9b minus 9c Everything divided by 3, and that is the farthest we can go with that. So, the, the numerator here, there are three terms, but they are all unlike. So, you can simplify You can simplify that further. So, it remains to be that. So, we have another one here. Again, you have to try and... Uh, so... The number that is outside the, the, the outside the bracket will multiply all the numbers inside the bracket. So we have 2 over y times a half of y. Now that is going to be 1. Maybe let me do them separately here so that you see how we are doing that. So 2 over y times a half of y. So half of y can be written as y over 2. So you see, you can simplify. 2 goes here, 1, 2 goes there, 1. y goes here, 1, y goes there, 1. So 1 by 1 times 1, or 1 times 1. That is 1 over 1, which is just 1. Plus, this one is going to be 2y. So again, remember we are multiplying this by that. So that is going to be 2 over y times y times y. See, y squared means y times y. y multiplied by itself. So y cancel, y goes there 1. So we have 2 times y which is 2y. That's why we're getting this 2y here. Plus now 2y squared. Again, let's see how we did that. We are now multiplying this and this one here. So you have 2 over y times y times y times y. That is y cubed. So y cancels this and then we have oh, this is 2. So we have 2 multiplied by this by this. So we have 2 times y squared, which is 2y squared. So that's how we are getting this one here. But again, if you look at the terms, they are all different. So you can't really simplify this further. So it remains to be this one here. So that is the farthest end we can go with it. So it remains to be that. Again, the signs inside the brackets are remaining the way they are. They are not changing because there is no negative sign before the bracket. So we have uh, these questions that are supposed to help us practice on what we have learned. So I will attempt the first one and then you will be able to attempt the rest. Let's see. Number one and then number three. So I'm going to attempt the first one, then you'll be able to attempt the rest. So these three here will multiply all the numbers inside. So this one here, you have to simplify, you'll have to open the bracket that is inside here first before you open the bigger bracket. So it means the first step is just going to be 2b minus 3 into 3 minus 2a 
this is this 2a here. So this 2 multiplies both terms inside the bracket. But then, remember the sign will change. The sign inside the bracket there will change. So plus. So 2a plus 10. Then now you open up this bracket. So we have 2b minus 9. Uh, 3 by 3 is 9. And this sign will change because of the minus. So this will change to plus. 6a. Again, the plus sign will change to minus. Minus 30. So you collect the like terms together. So you see we have 9 and 30. So we have 2b plus 6a minus 9 minus 30. So we have 9 minuses and 30 minuses. That is a total of 39 minuses. So this is going to be 2b plus 6a minus 39. And that is the answer. So this is the answer to this. You can attempt number 2 and number three and uh, that marks the end of our lesson until next time goodbye